Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you another meal that is under $15, a super easy, flavorful dish that is the one pot chicken and rice. I feel like everybody does one pot chicken and rice, but here's my version. So we're gonna hop out into the video. I'm gonna start off with my chicken thighs. Once they're clean, you want to um, drizzle about a tablespoon of olive oil on them. And then we're gonna season them with some onion powder, some garlic powder, some ground thyme, some paprika, some black pepper a splash of salt and then i like to put a uh, sasson in there about a half um i have the packets so i put about a half a packet on the chicken and then i save the um other half of the packet for later and once you add all your seasonings together you just want to mix that chicken all around make sure all the seasonings are up under the skin in the skin under the like the back of the chicken the bones you want to just make sure everything is nicely seasoned and if you need more seasonings just add some more um you can also use whatever type of seasoning you want to um these are just the seasonings that i always go to for chicken it's just it is what it is um and once you season all your chicken then we're going to cut up our vegetables Okay, so now I have my um, vegetables that I'm going to dice up. I was trying to debate which color pepper I wanted to use. It took me like 15 minutes to figure it out. But I ended up using a red pepper and a yellow pepper. But you can use whatever type of peppers that you want to use. Um, and you just want to um, mince, sorry, dice up your peppers. Dice up your onions. And I used about um, one third of each. So one third of a red pepper, a yellow pepper, and an onion. And then I want to mince a garlic clove once you have all your vegetables nicely diced and minced you want to pull out your handy dandy dutch oven and the oil of choice today is avocado oil and i oil and i put about um a tablespoon of avocado oil in my pan i have my stove on like a level five and i am just going to place my chicken skin down onto my um dutch oven and i'm gonna let it cook for about maybe three to four minutes until your chicken gets like a nice sear and it looks something like that. And then you want to flip it over, let it cook on the back side for about three to four minutes, maybe even four to five minutes. And um, then you just want to take your chicken out and set it to the side and do not clean your pot. That stuff that's on the bottom of the pot is nothing but burnt goodness. It's not burnt though, it's like extra seasoned goodness. I said burnt cause you know it look kind of burnt, but it's not. It's, is it's going to season your rice that's what we're going to use to season our rice okay so we're going to take our chicken out place it on a plate so all the juices from the chicken can be preserved so we can put it back into our pot and we just going to um first place some butter in there that's just to deglaze our um our oven our dutch oven and then we're going to throw in all those vegetables that we chopped up earlier mix that all around let that saute for about three minutes and it's gonna start smelling delicious. All the seasoning is gonna come up off the bottom of the pot. And then we're gonna um, throw in our rice. You can use whatever type of rice you want to. I like to use short grain rice, um, but you can use long grain, you can use basmati, you can use whatever type. I just, uh, I don't think you should use like a boiled rice or um, uh, if you're using brown rice, you gotta put more water in there because brown rice take you know longer to cook or more chicken stock. But once you add your rice in there, we wanna let that saute in our um vegetables and our seasonings for about two minutes and then we're going to add in some hot guys heat your chicken broth up okay so we want to add in some hot chicken broth about a cup and a half and then a one-fourth cup of water and then we're going to add in um i have chicken bouillon cubes i added in a half of the cube if you have the seasoning just add some seasoning into it i normally buy the cubes and then remember we saved that pack of sasson a half a packet we're going to add the rest of it to it now and then one bay leaf mix it all around bring it to a boil and then we're going to add our chicken back to our pot guys this recipe really calls for about eight pieces of chicken but i didn't feel like cooking all eight pieces so i only cook four but normally you could cook eight it could feed eight people okay so once you add your chicken back in with your juices from that the chicken has collected on that plate that's very important do not miss that step okay the chicken that's on the plate all them juices that's on the plate pour it back into that pot and then you want to place your lid on top and we're going to put this in our oven for 30 minutes our preheated oven on 400 degrees for 30 minutes and 30 minutes later when it comes out it's going to be done there is absolutely nothing that you're going to have to do to this dish okay you could just serve it right out the pot so we're going to put our lid on into our oven 
30 minutes later, it comes out of the oven looking like this. Looking like this. I just be so excited. Y'all don't understand how I be when the food be coming out the oven looking like this. I'm trying to tell y'all it's so flavorful. You can serve it like this, but y'all know I'm extra and I'm going to give y'all presentation time because presentation is key and y'all enjoy it just like me. So I have my rectangular plate that I got from Walmart and I'm just literally going to take the rice and the chicken out and put it on the plate. This is mo this has got to be the most easiest uh, presentation time I've ever done. Because the dish was doing all the work. Like the, the, the food did all the work. All I did literally was place the chicken and the rice on a plate. And I garnished it with some green onions. You can garnish it with some um, parsley if you want to. But I did green onions because I had a lot of green onions when I went to the store. And that's it. That was it. Y'all, this, 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 <laughs> this dish gives me so much life. This dish... I mean, it, it, it packs so much flavor. Y'all don't understand. Like when I, when I went to go take a bite of it, it just like smacked me in the face. And I was like, yes, call me Monty. It was, it was literally that it just punches you. It's absolutely delicious. I hope you guys enjoy it. And that's pretty much it guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys are washing your hands and I will see you guys at my next video.